Hello, Mike Wheeler. We're on a road trip. My nephew's actually holding the phone, so you know that. A surprise road trip. So enjoy the scenery for a little bit, and we're just testing out a stream to see how it goes with the road trip there. with the, all the AJC Magic people are here. Amy, Jolene, and Colton, who is AJC Magic. Ah, we're going to a secret fun location on a road trip. We're actually going north of Pittsburgh here. So um, you'll see when we get there. So enjoy the scenery. Hopefully it doesn't lag too much. Hello, Pam. But we're with Amy, Jolene, and Colton, which is the AJC Magic Team. Thanks. Oh, you're at Target. No problem, just another dessert. Hello, Pam. This is Western Pennsylvania. We're actually going north of Pittsburgh. I live south of Pittsburgh. But we're gonna go to a fun store. I know Mike has been on my video before on my stream when I have gone to this place before. So you'll get to see pause the stream and then come back on. Yeah, it's kind of like a dreary cool day here in Pittsburgh. I don't know, Mike. I'm sorry. I thought I... I thought you were saying hello to her. Sorry about that. Oh, the rest of the fam. Yes, the rest of the family. Sorry. I, it's hard to see, and my nephew's actually holding the stream, so he could get the view of... Zealy and Opal.
any of you um, are asking, I-79 is um, a north-south. It goes down all the way to Charleston, West Virginia, and ends up in Erie, Pennsylvania. So this is kind of like the major thoroughfare on the western side to go from the southwest, like West Virginia, Charleston, West Virginia, all the way up to Erie, Pennsylvania. So this is the major thoroughfare there. I actually live on the western side of Pennsylvania where Stacy Rogers and I lives. That's the eastern side of Pennsylvania with Philadelphia and that area. They have a lot of toll roads and stuff on that side. And once you get outside of Pittsburgh, it's basically mainly farm country or now they're building up like the area that we're coming up to called Cranberry, Pennsylvania. It's pretty well built up these days. It, um, the Pennsylvania Turnpike has an exit there and um, an exit there for the Pennsylvania Turnpike that'll let you go east to west. Going east takes you over towards Harrisburg, Philadelphia, New Jersey and going west you can follow the Pennsylvania Turnpike to the Ohio Turnpike through Indiana so that you could go all the way to San Francisco on I-80. It's actually been a mild winter so far, which, which is kind of nice, so we never know what will happen. We'll be getting off at a town called Zealand Opal, PA, and we'll be visiting one of their stores. I know you've been on my stream before, Mike, when I was there at this store before. And maybe what we'll do is go into the town of Zealand Opal and uh, we'll go to the Lion Water Fountain and go back live again when we go to another. Um, store that way you don't have to watch the whole thing of us traveling around and, and everything so the cranberry area now they've really built that up with a lot of shops and restaurants hotels because like i said you can catch the pennsylvania turnpike there um it's just a major thoroughfare nowadays there and a lot of companies have built there because you can get to the city of pittsburgh and like a half hour. Yeah, I was gonna say we probably will be getting some lag here. Yeah, I should have brought my hot spot with me and I wasn't thinking about it because at that moment we were actually gonna go somewhere else in the city and then we decided to go here. So we may end up getting lag. If it gets bad, we'll win the stream and then when I get to the location, I'll bring the stream back up. I know Nick is um, streaming now, I believe, at the Magic Kingdom, probably as long as it's not raining. And then um, make sure you show the penguin stadium. Hello, Noah. Also, you can see the practice facility of the Pittsburgh Penguins, which is coming up on our right hand side. Um, that's where the Pittsburgh Penguins practice at this facility that's on the right hand side of the um, road. actually never gone into that complex before but you can go there for open practices and stuff but there's I have been there before for the summer training like for prospects and just to open practice of training camp oh okay thank you Noah I wasn't sure but the left hand side is the cranberry area with all the different stores and shops you could probably go there for a month and still not hit all the different restaurants and stuff that are there. You can eat somewhere different every day if you live there and always ate out. 
we'll be getting off at the next exit and be heading to the location. So hopefully we aren't going to get too much lag or anything like that. But you could see some of the mountains. They're not mountain mountains, but they're pretty high up hills and stuff like that. It's not flat like if you live in Florida or somewhere else out in the desert or anything like that. Okay, thank you, Noah. But I know like in the summertime we'll be coming up this way to show some various um, things couple different zoos plus the beach hello monarch moments we're actually on a road trip to a fun little secret place um, I actually streamed it once before and once we get there you'll see um, it has some really neat stuff in there Hopefully it won't be too crowded because it's not like a big store type of place, but um, it'll be pretty neat. Um, we're actually on I-79 in, uh, in, in the Pennsylvania area. It's on the western side. so But we'll be getting off at this exit and then um, heading up towards where we're going. I did see that that was built that might be something for me to go in the summertime because I actually live about three hours away three three and a half hours away from um, outside of Pennsylvania <laughs> we're actually going to a town called Zelian Opal PA And as you can see, a lot of this is farmland or just a lot of open land. But then this is where a lot of farmers, Allegheny County, they they used to do like county fairs a long time ago when I was interesting this area um, because 20 minutes you could be in the city and 20 minutes you could be out in the middle of nowhere country. And like the kids up the road in the next county and then the next school district, you know, they they are part of the 4-H club and, you know, have cows or chickens or goats and they take them to the fair every year. And this area is Butler County. And there's a speedway and the various the other places. you guys um, hit the like button if you're enjoying the stream I'm sure you really enjoyed it a little bit plus it'll probably make you hungry or want some of the items trees. Ah, okay. yeah there's no leaves on the trees at this point we should be actually knee-deep in snow by now but um, it's been pretty mild I'm not gonna complain I don't 
if, if the snow's on the ground or a light snow, it's not too bad, but when you add the ice into it, I'm not too crazy. The ice and the wind, it's not too bad, or I'm not too crazy about that part, but once it, it does snow and stuff, it's sometimes not too bad because it can be like a snowy day and you know the roads are clear and it, it's just not too bad but there's other times where it's not a great situation but we've been lucky right now that it's been fairly mild so so I won't complain about that yeah there's no leaves in the winter time on the trees So it does do a lot of things because some places where I live you can't see it in the summertime because the leaves and the trees are built up but then once the winter comes you can see things off in the distance. here today so um, we'll have to be careful when we're in here so I might not live stream too long let me uh, you buckle and then when I get out I'll hand you the <laughs> Try not to show all the cars and everything. <laughs> but we're at a place that's called this. Sorry that it's shaky. I don't have you on a tripod or anything. So I do apologize. But this is what the place is called. And I know Mike Wheeler has seen this place before because it has all kinds of deliciousness. But it has all kinds of old fashioned candies and stuff. Ah, yes, Mike. At this place, it has old fashioned candies and various other items. Like you can see the old fashioned bubble gum, cigarettes, and stuff. Yes, yeah, yum yum. And there's rock candy. And they have different flavors of rock candy. As you can see. And then there's sour rock candy. And Mike, this looks familiar probably to you. At the ear of popcorn. But that's the popcorn. You put the ear of corn in the bag and make it in the microwave. I've actually given that away as prizes before. And Mike won that before. And then like some of the other companies here. Um, 
put in their candy. <laughs> yeah, at least it's on video. You don't have to eat it. But you could see chocolate coins, Twizzlers. There's Mike's favorite. And then I don't know if you remember these, the Zox. And there's a giant jawbreaker. But that's a giant jawbreaker. You certainly would break your jaw on that. And then here's some like other old fashioned stuff like the candy sticks, candy cigarettes, and the bubble tape, and coins. And different things. I remember the cinnamon tooth toothpicks. Like the cinnamon sticks, I remember those as a kid. And there's Mentos. I don't know if you remember this type of gum, fruit stripes, and there's charms. And there's lollipops. There's gummies. Oops. And candy necklaces. Yeah, it did lose its flavor pretty quick. And there was like a gummy mouse. And then they have all kinds of Laffy Taffy and Airheads. And there's like the lemon heads. And then there's those things, the little pods with little candies in them. And then they have um, freeze dried ice cream. Space ice cream, which is good. There's pumpkin seeds. Yeah, for me, I liked a lot of the licorice and gummy type of candies. And I do like the Laffy Taffy. Banana is usually my favorite. Banana and cherry are my favorites. But um, here's these, the cigars. Ah, yes, Mel, thank you for joining. But they have that little cigar gums. And then the two big leagues. Smarties, Fun Dip. Yeah, if you see something, hey, let me know. Um, yes, they are the satellite wafers. And that bag was a dollar, and then they have like another bag, and then you can buy a box of it up there. I haven't had those um, saucers or the satellite things. But there's Red Hots, Boston Baked Beans, Icy Slurpees. That's more of the newer candies that kid had. kids had, like the baby bottles and stuff. I like these. 
These are pretty good. I don't know if anybody's ever had that before. But they're pretty good. There's ring pops. And then you get into like some of the old fashioned candy bars and stuff. And the lollipops, there's licorice laces, which I usually like to get this. And they have soda pop cans with candy in them. There's, I don't know if anybody's ever remembered these, the gold mine nuggets candies. And they also sell other things like a bear, you can see the noodles for soup, classic chicken soup mix. And there's a creamy mushroom soup mix, homemade. There's like a Yahoo, a Yoohoo candy bar, which is kind of like that drink that they had. Uh, yes, I like them. I actually buy a few of them every once in a while, Billy, and get them. There's another store I go, have gone to that sells a lot of the same items. But they're fairly reasonable here. I don't know if anybody ever had this. I've never seen that type. It's kind of crowded, so I'm not trying to show too many things. I like these. They're gummies. And there's like, um, um, this is like Lickery's Rolls. Hello, Julio. Thank you very much. Um, I will check Holio. Holio. Hello, Billy A. I'll, I'll check because they might have it in a certain area. I don't see it right now. But there's Sour Punches. And Starbursts. Can you hold this, Colton? Thank you. But I'll look. They have this, which is like the old licorice stuff there. And there's black cows, slow poke candy. I remember the slow pokes. Then this is more of the modern candy here. The airheads and the Air bites, Jimmy sticks, the Cadbury eggs. There's peanut chews, milk and dark chocolate. There's Clark peanut butter bars. There's a zero bar. <coughs> Skittles, all kinds of flavors. Licorice. There's Hershey's. Ah, here you go. Here you go, William. If that's what you're talking about. Julio here is the candy. Yeah, that actually isn't... It's an actual Clark Bar peanut butter cups. They don't actually have the real Clark Bar anymore. But they make this Clark Bar peanut butter with chips with the Clark Bar Crunch. They're not too bad. Friends of mine had them and um, she was giving them up to us. I think they had them at, e um, at Halloween. And she had let me take a couple of them home. Uh, thank you, Mike. Uh, there's a Payday Bar, Dots. Dark. Milky Ways, they're good. Milky Ways, Fifth Avenue bars. There's gummies. These are lobster gummies. I don't know if you can see them. But lobster gummies. I've never seen lobster gummies before. 
And there's rock candy. This is chocolate rock candy. I have a PayPal if you're interested. I can mail you something. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. On there, sometimes the uh, peanut butter eyes start coughing from the stickiness. There's chuckles, rollos. Now, of course, there's all your Reese's. And Kit Kats. And this one, I don't know if anybody's ever seen this, but half of it's Reese's Pieces and chocolates and then just a regular Hershey bar. And there's a regular Hershey bar and the dark chocolate Hershey's and almond Hershey's. And there's Kit Kats. And of course, there's all the peanut butter cups, white peanut butter cups, dark peanut butter cups. Yeah, so do I. Um, no, I like the payday bars. <laughs> Sorry, Garrett or Michelle. Um, there's M&M's, different flavors there. And then I don't know if any of you like this bar. I know um, I sent Donna Dworsky some of these, what you call it. But that's a what you call it bar. There's a Zagnut. They're, they were made by the same company as the Clark Bar Company, and now Hershey's makes them. There's a Take Five Bar. There's Dove Chocolate, which is good. <laughs> yeah, sorry. There's Reese's Pieces. Yeah, they, they are good. I love these. These whatchamacallit bars. <laughs> you know where I'm going after the stream? <laughs> I hope to the gym. <laughs> yes, here's Mallow Cup bars. There's dark chocolate, the regular with the marshmallow, and then they have the peanut butter, butterscotch ones. And actually, um, I've been to the Mallow Cup factory. It's actually by where Dave, Brandy and Dave live. Somewhere up by there. Oh, wow. Didn't know that, Mike. Yeah, they have regular peanut butter ones, and then they have butterscotch ones with the butterscotch flavor. This is a dark chocolate Charleston chew or a chocolate one. And then they have a strawberry and then their regular vanilla flavored marshmallow one. They're pretty good. And there's Heath bars. I love those. Ma uh, Carmelo bars, Almond Joys. There's regular good and plenties. They don't have the fruity ones anymore. Hazelnut and coconut. Smarties. There's all kinds of nerds. Oh, wow. I'll have to look for that. Yeah, so you have to freeze them. And there's good and plenty almond joys mounds there's these razzles this is new i've never seen it but this is like an ice cream kit i don't know if you have to um use an ice cream machine for it but it's an ice cream mix and then they have creme creme brulee and mousse mixes that looks good Razzles, there's no ro ropes. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. There's all kinds of nerds. Here is gum. And then these are other prepackaged stuff. 
There's the Pop Rocks. I don't know if anybody's ever had them, but I, I used to love those as a kid. And right, there's all the popping candy and taffies. And then here are, um, these are all wax. I don't know if anybody's ever had that, the wax, lips, and tea, and mustache. And there's a wax mustache. Maybe I'll surprise all of you and do a, a goodie bag for a big trivia contest of various candies. And you'll get some old-fashioned candies. Yeah, I remember the wax stuff. But here's the mustache. Here are the lips. And then here are fangs. And then there's um, licorice pipes. And sprees. And these are like by the pound. And this is like gummies and gumballs. You didn't mix those with these, did you? And stuff. <clears throat> yeah, the turkey shopping. Then they have individual seeds and stuff, like, package. There's, like, dog cha, or this is called monkey munch. <clears throat> and then these are just other pre-packaged, like, novelty candies. There's little race car chocolates. And little car gummies. But these, when the stuff that's on the tables here, like this is 10 cents, and you make a bag of various pieces of this candy. So they're 10 cents a piece, and you can get one of the bags and fill whatever you like. Here's like Chico sticks. I probably had these a long time ago, but I don't know what they taste like. <laughs> and there's taffy, um, little candy things. There's those warheads. There's um, lemon heads, fireballs, jawbreakers. But this one, they're 10 cents a piece, and then you just put them in a bag. And then over here, you could buy the gummies. It's $3 a pound, and you just pick up one of those bags. And they have the cherry sours, the fruit sours, and just different gummies. So if you just like a certain flavor of gummy bear, you can go to one of these containers and pick out the flavors you want. Like they have orange, strawberry, grape, pineapple, apple, cherry, blue. And somebody had asked about this, the rainbow coconut strips. And there's watermelon flavor orange flavor ah, no thank you <laughs> and then there these are just individual package stuff if you just want a little bit of amount they already have some pre-packaged like the licorice laces and licorice and there's pineapple dried pineapple these are chocolate rocks there's coconut bonbons Yeah, neither do I, Billy. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't think I would like that either. And then there's like the sour patch watermelon, Tristan. ginger, Swedish fish. But there's like orange, cherry. Like if you just wanted all red cherry ones, mango. Or you can get the mixture. 
people walk down this way, so you can see. Oops, sorry. And they have like box stuff already now, waiters. There's a chocolate cigar. Yeah, that's true. I know um, Noah has asked about these before, but here is a cricket lollipop. Maybe I'll send one of these to you, Monarch Moments. A cricket lollipop. Or maybe send it to Pepper Tree Villa and Jim. Have more sunshine, please. Send them these. And there's a scorpion one. And there's ants and chili. And then there's the bun. I'll show you how big this store is. It's just right now I'm in front of the um, register. So, and there's Vallow milk. Hey, I'll buy one and send it to you guys. And you guys can have fun with it at your house. Uh, they have orange, blueberry, strawberry, and grape. But it looks like they only have orange, grape, and strawberry. Okay, happy birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, maybe I will. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of like a um, patty. It has real milk chocolate, Virginia peanuts, and nougat in, in them. And that one's a maple flavor. This is the original flavor. But yeah, it's an old fashioned. Here is a goo goo patty cluster. Oh, nice. Have fun today. This is how big it is. And I haven't even gotten through most of the candy here. But they, they have like, um, you know how they have um, the crazy bananas here or crazy dog bones. Yeah, the Goo Goo Clusters are really good. There's like little mints, pre-packaged, the little sun kiss. I don't know if people remember these. And there's some rock candy, Jordan almonds. Here's like these filled peanuts, sesame sticks, just various stuff. The peach rings and other flavored rings. And then they have licorice. I usually like to get the licorice because there's various flavors. Cinnamon, raspberry, chocolate, black, cinnamon, cherry, grape, root beer. And there are some more. You see them on the left there? They still have like the hard candy. But then they sell all kinds of other specialty stuff. Honey sticks. There's a honey bear lollipop. Honey spoons. Oh, okay, Mike. Yeah, and if you do a lot of cooking, they have different things for cooking. There's different stuff. But they have cookie cutters. It's like a lightning bolt cookie cutter. 
for our lighthouse, lips. So they have all kinds of stuff. Sneakers, snails. They have these, which you can get those in Florida too, but they, um, coconut patties. And I know you can get those in Florida, but they're good. These coconut patties. And there's like the cooking stuff. And there's the walker short bridge. They're good. You can get those at the uh -huh. things. And then there's like the different oils and stuff to make candy or whatever flavoring. Oh, okay, Mike. That's that's true. There would be, but they have all kinds of like cookie cutters and stuff as you can see but i'm standing like this is how big this store kind of is so it's not that big but there's maple candy and a lot of honey products and then just some specialty candies like this pecan roll and stuff like that that's pretty cool mike I did not see crazy. Oh, here. Well, now they. This is probably the closest they have to crazy bananas. Is the run, and then they do have. They do have bananas, but they're just the regular bananas. They're not the, all the different flavors. But yes, they do have. Uh, just the yellow bananas. Yeah, you would think so. And there's like all kinds of gummy. Here's gummy chicken feet. That's interesting. Never seen that before. Gummy chicken feet. As you can see. And here's gummy octopuses. Sour one. And licorice bites and chocolate licorice. And there's giant gumballs, but they look like they're kind of cracked and stuff. <laughs> and then some different fruits. Then they do sell some sodas. probably gonna end the stream because um it looks like they're ready but i gotta see what they got and i have to grab my candy hello t-town mary ellen thank you for joining oh you're welcome yeah i'm just trying to get my hours up and um just trying to find time in between other people because I don't want to step on toes. And I'm just trying to pick up my hours. Because I don't. And there's like candy sticks too. But that was pretty much it everyone. I'll um, go ahead and end the stream. I'm going to end the stream. I do thank everyone for joining. Um, I got to pay for my items and see what the kids picked up because uh, it looks like they have a ton of stuff in their hands. So I do thank everyone for joining. And I may come back on from another location in a little bit. Oh, yes, I do know that, Mike. I realized that I had turned it on when we were in the car. And I couldn't tell them how to change it, so I will change my um, my title. So I do thank you. Oh, you're welcome on our moments. And I will see everyone. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. 
and I will talk to you guys all soon. And there might be another quick stream when we get to another location. Thank you for joining. Bye, everyone.